Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube page. In this video we will walk through a straightforward Python program. In the beginning I will give you an overview of what I plan to cover, then I will switch over to Python Idle Editor, walk you through the script and then run the program in Python Shell. At the end, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Now let's begin. For this Python program, the purpose is to provide an example of the while loop counter. We will develop a program that requires the player to guess a number between 1 and 10. The player will be given four attempts and each attempt will be tracked using the while loop counter. The repetition structure specifies that a block of statements be executed repeatedly based on a given condition. The statements and the process block of code are executed several times, so this structure is often called a loop structure. A program segment that includes the repetition structure has three major parts and its form. 1. The initial conditions. 2. The steps that are to be repeated, and 3. The final results. There are three general forms of the repetition structure, the while loop, the repeat until loop, and the for loop. The first form of the repetition structure, the while construct, is the most flexible. The other two forms of the repetition structure can be expressed with the while construct. The while loop consists of a conditional expression and block of statements. This construct evaluates the condition before the process block of statements is executed. If the condition is true, the statements and the block are executed. This repeats while the condition evaluates to true. When the condition evaluates to false, the loop terminates. The actions in the process block are performed while the condition is true. After the actions in the process block are performed, the condition is again evaluated, and the actions are again performed if the condition is still true, otherwise, it terminates. The condition is tested first, and then the process block is performed. If this condition is initially false, the actions in the block are not performed. The number of times that the loop is performed is normally a finite number. A well-defined loop will eventually terminate, unless it has been specified as a non-terminating loop. The condition is also known as the loop condition, and it determines when the loop terminates. A non-terminating loop is defined in special cases and will repeat the actions forever. In the while loop construct, the condition is tested first and then the statements in the loop block are performed. If this condition is initially false, the statements are not performed. The number of times that the loop is performed is normally a finite integer value. For this condition will eventually be evaluated to false, that is, the loop will terminate. This condition is often known as the loop condition, and it determines when the loop terminates. Only in some very special cases, the programmer can decide to write an infinite loop. This will repeat the statements in the repeat loop forever. A counter variable stores the number of times, also known as the iterations, the loop executes. The counter variable is increment every time the statements in the loop are performed. The variable must be initialized to a given value, typically to 0 or 1. The first time the statements in the block are performed, the loop counter variable starts with a value equal to 1. The second time through the loop, the variable has a value equal to 2. The third time through the loop, it has a value of 3, and so on. Eventually, the counter variable will have a value equal to the value of the maximum number and the loop will terminate. Now, let's open up the Python idle editor and we will develop a program that requires the player to guess a number between 1 and 10. The player will be given 4 attempts and each attempt will be tracked using the while loop counter. If the player guesses the correct number, a secret image will be displayed. First, start out by putting identification information for the Python file enclosed by three quotations. For the program file name, let's title it while loopcounter.py. Then the author information, and for that, I'll put my name Lewis. Next the date, which is August 15, 2022, and lastly I'll put a short description of the program. This program performs a while loop counter. In this guessing game, the player will be required to guess a number between 1 and 10. The player will have 4 attempts, if the user guesses the correct number, a secret image will appear. 
Now let's create the secret image. The secret image is a text art of a stick figure holding a heart balloon. Type secret underscore image equals three apostrophes, then copy and paste the text art of the stick figure holding the heart balloon, then close the three apostrophes. Press enter and let's create the guessing game script. We first need to set the number to be guessed. Type answer equals 7. The answer to our guessing game will be 7, therefore we need to set the word answer equal to 7. Now, let's set the counter variable for the amount of attempts. Type attempts equals 1. This guessing game will allow 4 attempts, and it will start at 1. After the first incorrect attempt, Python will notify the player that the first attempt has been completed and start counting up to 4. Now we will create the input statement that will tell Python to allow the player to input their first guess. Type guess underscore answer equals int open parenthesis, input, open parenthesis, quotation, then the statement guess the answer I am thinking of, between 1 and 10, colon, close quotation, close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses, then press enter. The input statement reads a value of a variable from the input device, in this case, the keyboard. This will display the string literal guess the answer I am thinking of, between 1 and 10. Since the number to be input is an integer, therefore we define the data type as int. The data type int, for integer is a whole number, positive or negative, without decimals of unlimited length. Next, let's define the while construct, type while attempts, the Python operand, in, range, open parenthesis, 0, comma, 4, close parenthesis, colon, and press enter. The range function returns a sequence of numbers, starting from 0 by default, and increments by 1, and stops before a specified number. The in keyword has two purposes, it is used to check if a value is present in a sequence, in this case range, and, the in keyword is also used to iterate through a sequence in a for loop. Now, let's define the if statements. Type if, guess underscore answer, double equal sign, answer, colon, and press enter. If the player inputs the correct answer and the amount of attempts is less than 4, the player would have won the game. Type the print statement as print, open parenthesis, quotation, the statement congratulations, you won, close apostrophe and close the parenthesis. The print statement is used for the output of variables and text strings. These output statements write the value of one or more variables to the output device. Next, since the player won the game, it will reveal the secret image. Therefore, we need to tell Python to show the image. Type print, open parenthesis, secret underscore image, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Type break as we want to tell Python to not continue on with the remaining options as the player has already input the correct answer. In Python, the break statement provides you with the opportunity to exit out of a loop when an external condition is triggered. You'll put the break statement within the block of code under your loop statement, usually after a conditional if statement. Let's continue on with the remaining three options for the game with the ELIF in the if statement. I want to provide the player with clues each time an incorrect answer is input. A player can input an answer that is too high. Therefore to tell the player that this answer is incorrect, to provide a clue and notify them of the remaining attempts, type ELIF guess underscore answer greater than answer, colon, press enter. Type print, open parenthesis, f, quotation, the statement, that guess was too high. This is attempt number, colon, open curly bracket, attempts, close curly brackets, close the quotation, close the parenthesis, and press enter. The f preceding the print statement means formatted string literals and it's new in Python 3.6. It is a way to format your string that is more readable and fast. The word attempts embedded in curly brackets will pull in the amount of attempts as you proceed along with the guessing game keeping track of incorrect attempts for answers input. Since the player input the incorrect answer, and it is less than the allowed for amount of attempts, we want to tell Python to give the player another chance. Therefore, we need another input statement. Type guess underscore answer, equals int, open parenthesis, input, open parenthesis, quotation, guess again, colon, close quotation, close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses and press enter. Now, we have to define our counter variable further. 
If you recall from earlier, I want to only allow the player four attempts to guess the correct answer. Therefore, we need to keep track of the amount of guesses the player has already input. Type attempts, plus, equals, one and press enter. Each time the player inputs an incorrect answer, this will increase the amount of attempts made. Let's provide a hint to the player if they input a guess that's too low. Type ELIF, guess underscore answer less than answer, colon, press enter. Type print, open parenthesis, F, quotation, that guess was too low. This is attempt number, colon, open curly bracket, attempts, close curly brackets, close the quotation, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Since the player input the incorrect answer, and it is less than the allowed four amount of attempts, we want to tell Python to give the player another chance. Therefore, we need another input statement. Type guess underscore answer equals int open parenthesis input open parenthesis quotation guess again colon close quotation close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses and press enter. If you recall from earlier, I want to only allow the player four attempts to guess the correct answer. Therefore, we need to keep track of the amount of guesses the player has already input. Type attempts plus equals one and press enter. Now we have to input the else option if the player does not guess the correct answer after four attempts have been reached. Type else, colon, and press enter. We want to input a print statement to tell the player that they did not win the game, the game is over and that four attempts have been reached. Type print, open parenthesis, F, quotation, you lose, you have reached, open curly bracket, attempts, close curly bracket, attempts, ellipses game over, close quotation, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Now, let's run the module and confirm our while loop counter selection statements are executing as expected. In the Python idle editor header, click run, then click run module. After the idle shell opens, let's input 5 as our first guess. Python returns the statement that guess was too low. This is attempt number, one guess again. As expected, based on the code we input, since the guess was less than the answer of 7, Python tells the player it's too low. The loop counter also tracks the amount of attempts correctly noted here by the number 1. For our next guess, let's input 8. Python returns the statement that guess was too high. This is attempt number 2 guess again. As expected, based on the code we input, since the guess was higher than the answer of 7, Python tells the player it's too high. The loop counter also tracks the amount of attempts correctly noted here by the number 2. Next, let's input the correct guess of 7. As expected, Python returns congratulations, you won and the secret text image is displayed. Lastly, let's run the module again and input 4 incorrect guesses. In the Python idle editor header, click run, then click run module. After the idle shell opens, let's input 5, then 6, then 8, then 9. As expected, Python returns the statement, you lose, you have reached 4 attempts, game over. Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos to YouTube. I'll see you next week with a new Python video. Until next time, take care.